Hello friends, I am your Van Vishal Niti Agnihotri with Dr. Pratik Jain, who is Senior uh, Homeopathic Consultant at Dr. Tathir's Clinic and going to share very important information on cervical cancer. So Dr. Pratik, uh, please let us know ki what is cervical cancer? Yes, hello. Yes, cervical cancer uh, lately has been in the news for the reasons we all know. Uh, popular uh, the news, the hoax uh, fix. Uh, death news which has been shared but it is a good thing I will say because the awareness was necessary at this point of time and I will tell you why the statistics of cervical cancer is very shocking mm. uh, you will be surprised to know that it is the second most commonest form of cancer related deaths among Indian women and also globally 25% of cervical cancer related deaths occur in India itself this is really shocking and the reasons for this are the lack of timely diagnosis mm -hmm. the lack of effective timely uh, treatment and also the lack of knowledge among the masses. Mm -hmm. Now coming back to what is cervical cancer, first we need to understand what is cervix. Okay. A cervix is the lower end of the uterus which oh. connects the uterus to the vagina. It allows the fluid such as the menstrual blood from the uterus into the vagina mm -hmm. and also uh, it allows the passage of the fetus, uh, the fetus during the uh, delivery. So it is also called as the cervical cancer. Now the cervic cervical cancer occurs uh, due to the changes in the cells of the cervix due to single most important factor and that is the HPV that mm -hmm. is the human papilloma virus mm -hmm. now it is a sexually transmitted disease uh, which commonly occurs after the sexual contact uh, after the sexual contact commonly occurs but most of it are able to fight it out if they're able it is well but very few get stable up uh, into the cancer because it causes changes over a period of time so Dr. Pratik, what is the other more causes of uh, cervical cancer? As we have seen the HPV, the human papilloma virus is a single most factor. Apart from that, the lowered immunity oh. uh, makes us more prone to this uh, cancer in general. And the third one is the to use of tobacco. Now, okay. there is an ancient practice in India, the use of tobacco. It, mm -hmm. Over a period of time, it can lower your immune system and you can be more prone to it. The fourth one is the multiple sexual partners without the protection right. so this can also be the one of the causes what are the symptoms of the cervical can cancer and how we can pre uh, prevent it the first uh, basic sign is usually you may feel your pain around your pelvic region okay second there may be irregular menstrual cycles especially mm -hmm. the prolonged heavy bleeding between the two menstrual periods also bleeding which occurs after the menopause oh. these are the same uh, basic signs and symptoms and as you have asked, what is the prevention for it? Mm -hmm. First and foremost, you need to have knowledge. Right. Many people still, many women in India still ignore the symptoms and do not take proper medical advice and just uh, they take the over-the-counter medications. And I am speaking again that cervical cancer is such a thing that if diagnosed early and if you are aware of it, mm -hmm. this can be prevented 100%. Because oh. it is very slow, gradual moving cancer. It just doesn't occur straight away and uh, you lapse into the critical condition. It is not so. Over a gradual period of time, it increases. So first and foremost, what we can do, if you find any of the symptoms, you can get yourself checked. There is a test called as pap smear. Mm. It helps to identify the precancerous state. The woman, uh, it just lets us know if there is a changes in the cells of the cervix. Second is to get it tested for HPV virus, as we have talked about. Mm -hmm. These are the basic two preventive measures we can take. And along with this, obviously, hobby plays an important part. But as we have oh, talked, very... immunity, yes. if, if your immunity is less, you are more prone to it. And right. as we all know, homeopathy improves immunity. Tell me, what is the role of homeopathic in this disease? And how as it can I... be cured? Yes. As I've just talked about uh, the immunity part, homeopathy improves it. Mm -hmm. Before coming to that, let me also tell you, there are also various psychological factors behind it. And as per the latest research, in the field of homeopathy and also as per the German new medicines, many females when they feel unwanted, like when they feel neglected, when they feel they are not taken care of enough, mm. all these things can trigger into this condition. The stress it can has, trigger. Yes, yes. Stress can definitely play a part over a better of time. Mm. As I have talked, the single most important factor is not being wanted or being mm. ignored, being neglected. All this play a part. So what can homeopathy exactly do? Uh, if we come across such a state, the first and foremost, uh, in diagnosed and prevented early, it can help the abnormality of the cell changes to uh, prevent it further. It can stop it there itself. Second, it can also improve the psychology of the patient, the various risk factors. It can help improve that. 
and third the important link up also in the lateral stages of the uh, cancer it is usually told that there is no role but i would like to defer that and i would like to say that even in the latter stages of the cancer mm. homeopathy can be of great help especially to counter the side effects of the alternative medicines mm. and also uh, to maintain the present state and uh, to leave whatever the life is present to leave that in a very healthy and uh, a safe oh it's really great okay it's really good to know that homeopathy works uh, very well in uh, cervical cancer and thank you so much dr pratik jain for this amazing wonderful and uh, important information on cervical cancer and thank you thank you